Alrighty then, it's the big day. I am going to draw the three people <laughs> that managed to guess the right number of clips that were in the video. And uh, as the video started, that's playing in the corner. I don't know which corner. Watch I don't cut my head off with this extremely sharp knife though. So I've got those names put here in the asshole hat, and I'm gonna draw those soon. But first, <laughs> but first I thought I would try to demonstrate how, uh, how I've improved my skill using this, which I haven't. I, I did it for, you know, 10 or 15 minutes on the first day. But then I stopped because I didn't want to drop it and break it and then I'd have to fix it before I sent it out to whoever wins it. So I don't know, this thing is a double bladed one so you can't do the kind of tricks that you can do with one that uh, would be, you know, the single bladed side. You know, it has a safe side, it's double edged like that. So I don't know, you do it something like this, try to do that real fast. And of course I can cheat and speed up the video when I'm doing that. So, and kind of make me look a little bit competent, but the, I, I don't know. The thing with these types of knives is that you can quickly deploy them and they're kind of a tight package. Now the size of this thing is not well represented in the video. It is almost eight inches long from the back to the front. And the blade itself is pretty big from the uh, plunge cut here on the end, or on the beginning, I guess you could say, to the tip, it is almost six inches long. So it's quite a, if this was made from steel, this would be quite a knife, quite a lethal thing. Unfortunately, these kind of things, <laughs> in their non-practice form, uh, are illegal in most countries, including here in Canada. You're not allowed to even own one for some ridiculous uh, reason, you can own a sword. And honestly, the only possible use for a sword is to kill people. Whereas you can't own one of these things here or you can't own shuriken or anything like that. Anyway, I'm getting off track, but I gotta see something while the, uh, while the video that you're watching with the count, the live count, you could say winds down. Anyway, so, uh, if I had to do it again, would I do it the same? I like this wood, the sumac, and I don't know what possessed me to start doing it with this, but I think if I had to do it again, I would not use this wood. I would use something harder and probably something darker. Um, the sapele I used for the spiral stairs would be a good choice because it's a nice contrast between that and the pale wood of the spalted maple. Uh, walnut is not substantially harder than the uh, sumac, not for that. The problem I have, I ran into with this is when I uh, drilled the holes after the fact and even though I cranked up the speed on my drill press, it wasn't uh, drilling really clean holes. So I spent a lot of time in there with a file to clean it out and I um, chamfered the edge a little bit on the holes to try to clean it up, but it still looks good. Anyway, who cares? Someone's gonna get it. And here we go. I'm gonna shake up the asshole cap and I've got the three potential winners written on paper in here that I folded up. You can see in there, you can't see. But I'm gonna pick this one. I have no idea who it is. I could pick any of the other ones, but I got no idea. Like I said, there are only three. I'm gonna unfold it here and look at it. And if, uh, it was upside down. I thought it said WW, but it's actually MM, which is, uh, I think, Mike McClure. So you win the knife. And um, the deal here is I can't email people directly from YouTube for some stupid reason. You used to be able to, you'd be able to, be able to send them a message, but you can't, I already looked at that. So Mike, you have to be watching this video 
to get this knife. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave my email address. Now don't abuse this, guys. I'm gonna leave the email address that you can contact me at um, to let me know your mailing address, and that'll be in the description of this video. So it's right there. But then after he contacts me, I'm gonna, you know, delete and wipe out that email address. Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the build. And Mike, I hope you uh, enjoy the knife. <laughs> and don't kill anybody with it, for God's sakes. And uh, have fun playing with it. It's pretty fun to play with.